welcome back to Breaking Today. My name is Joel Church and our sign language interpreter is Tracy Dorcas. Moving on, driving in cinemas, the art of film screening that bring back nostalgia in the minds of many to the mid and late 90s. A business reporter, Brown Mwenda, visited Bellevue Drive in Cinema in Nairobi County and spent a day with Paul Lokech, the then projectionist and now caretaker of the historic site. Different stakeholders too give their insights on the possibility of drive in cinemas making a comeback. Follow the conversation. Now, today I want us to explore the history of drive in cinemas in the country. And when you talk about the history of these big screens, we cannot forget the iconic Bellevue big screen just right behind me. It looks a little bit deserted, and that's where I want us to explore the history of this place. Follow me. Asante sana kwa kutukaribisha. Asante. We want to know the history of this place. Yes. And you're the best man to talk about this place. Yes. How long have you been here? Uh, about 40 years. 40 years? Yes. You know this place in out? In out. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Now show me this place. So, uh -huh. here in the Olugua entrance, yes. one, there yes. was booking office there. The booking office was yeah. there. So, uh, Staff used to stand here, mm -hmm. wait for the car. When the car comes, yes. collect the money from them, mm -hmm. then pay there. Then give the car the ticket, mm -hmm. then the car will proceed on. In 1990, was it operational? Uh, yes. How much would the car pay on average? Uh, it depends with the, what type of uh, film we are showing. Sometimes we used to charge uh, per car lot. Sometimes we used to charge per person. Per so person. as uh, 90s, mm -hmm. we used to charge around two, two, three hundred or four hundred, five to up to five hundred per person. It depends on which film we are showing. We had new release mm -hmm. and the old movies, mm -hmm. so price were different, different like, like that. Now, from this point, I just came with, the, with my family and the car. Yeah. You've given me the ticket. Yes. How will I proceed? You will proceed on straight forward. Okay. Yeah. Not like the cars were here now, they, uh -huh. those days. Uh -huh. the, the, the road was straight forward. Very straight forward. Yeah, straight forward. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Mondi, how old is this place? The place is, uh, because it started in 1964, you can count from 1964 up to now. That's about uh, 64, 2022. 20, that's about. Um, 58 years? Yeah, something like that. 58 years? Yeah. Now, 58 years down the line, what informed the name Bellevue? Bellevue is a name uh, which was immigrated from uh, France. Mm -hmm. That's a France word which means beautiful. Bellevue means beautiful? Yes. The place was beautiful back It then. was very beautiful. The, even the place was so clean. Yes. When you start somewhere there, uh -huh. at night you, mm -hmm. could, you could see or you could hear uh -huh. lions roaring from the place. Lions. Lions, yeah. And we, we used to see uh, tigers. This uh, giraffe, most of the giraffe were around here. This place was bushy? Yeah, it was bushy, but our inside here was very clean. And secure? Yes, clean and secure. Wow. That's you could beautiful. have seen uh, cars parking here. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you see the clean, it's clean how big it is. You say? This was a big screen. Yes. Yeah. Who was the biggest target? Who was coming to watch these movies? Yeah, uh, when I start wa started working here in 1979, mm -hmm. uh, people were mixed up. People were coming, Africans, Asian, mm -hmm. even Wazungus who used to come because we were showing different movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, these different movies, these were English movies. Mm -hmm. But late from, uh, uh, I think from 1980s, mm -hmm. 80s onward, uh, late 80s. Mm -hmm. So we started uh, showing these Asian movies. So mm -hmm. Asian used to come. Mm -hmm. This place used to be so crowded. Very crowded. Yeah. How many cars would this place hold on a normal day? First of all, uh, uh, a normal day, mm -hmm. the capacity of the cars used to be 1,000 cars. 1,000 cars? Yeah, 1,000 cars. But if we had a nice movie, it could go 
you, it, it, it could go a house full. What's the most historic movie that you showed here and it attracted a very big audience? Uh, this was uh, a movie called uh, Viswatma. 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 Yeah, that was an Asian movie. Yes. And that movie was acted in Kenya here. That is why everybody wanted to see how it is. Ah. Some other people coming to see if their faces could be seen in, ah, in that yes. movie. So that was the biggest movie that we had. Mr. Paul, when you look at this place, it looks historic. Yes. At the same time, it looks like um, there's not been so much life happening around. Yeah. Why did the fall of this place start? You know, people, uh, things keep changing every now and then. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, those days, we did not have TVs and whatever. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, uh -huh. <coughs> you can even watch movie in your phone. Mm -hmm. So who will come? So that's why the, the fallout came. That's where the fallout of, of the movie came. Mm -hmm. Because people were watching on the TV, watching everywhere. Now what's the way forward from here? From here, you just go and park a car somewhere where you like. You, you can see the, the ramps here. These are the ramps. These ones? Yeah. So yes. mm. uh, a car can park like this one. Mm -hmm. When you don't park here, yes. you park behind, there behind. Yes. You cannot. Uh, block somebody behind you. Yes. And that one also cannot block you. How was the audio connected to the pictures that I'm seeing there? We had speakers all over. When you come, you park, mm -hmm. you take a speaker, you put in your car. That a, is how you a do A small it. speaker? Yeah, a small speaker, uh -huh. which fitted in your, mm -hmm. in, your, in, in your car window. How clear was the audio? Very clear. Very clear. The sound was very clear. Mm -hmm. Everything was very clear. Mm -hmm. And it came sometimes back when we were about to close. Yes. We introduced something, a uh, uh, radio system. Uh, FM. You FM system. You could switch your car mm -hmm. radio, mm -hmm. uh, 106.5, something like that. Yes. Then you get the sound from your... Did you come as a random audience? Or you just the technical bit of it? Me, I take just a technical bit of it. Yes. Because I was a projectionist. I Your used projection to project is. it, yeah. I used to project it straight to the, from the projection room to the screen. What was the resolution of that, that video? Uh, How well clear was it? Very clear, very clear. Just mm. like what you can see nowadays in your TV. It was very clear. Very clear? Yes. How big is this place? The place was big. It used to be 25 acres, but uh, we have cut it off. Uh, the owner sold that place to, to, to Kenya now. Let me ask you this question, a bit controversial. Who is the owner? You don't worry about the owner. <laughs> Maybe I'm a part of the owners. You're part of the owners? Yeah. <laughs> so, wow, yeah. wow, 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 wow. So catch. Yes. From there yeah. to here, how many meters away? It is, it is far away. Mm -hmm. But we had a very strong bulb. Uh, that bulb was 40,000 watts, which would light up to the screen there. 40? 40,000 watts. Very strong and very bright. You could see the move here, even if you are, you are, you are, you are standing at uh, Bangathi Hospital. You see Bangathi, you know Bangathi where it is? Bangathi Hospital. Yes, when you are there, mm -hmm. you could see the move here. Yeah. Well, I can see there's a fence around this place. Yeah. That means the land is no longer being sold anymore. No, 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 but we don't want to sell it. But uh, it is only for those who want to lease. If you want to lease, you're welcome. If you want to buy it, forget it. Wow, yeah. wow. What's the future plan of this place? Uh, we will plan about it. Mm -hmm. whether, whether we want to lease it mm -hmm. or we want to sell it, mm -hmm. we'll know. But I'm sure you've been into one, two, three meetings where you've, you've had suggestions. Why yes. don't you sell? Why don't we lease it? Why don't we... No, you know, huh? we, if we, at the moment, mm -hmm. there's somebody uh, we are working about with them. Yes. We'll know whether uh, they can lease it or not. But uh, till we are talking, talking goes on. Don't you think this place should be preserved as a, an historic place? Do you think it, it's here there? I think even if uh, we can lease it to somebody, we mm -hmm. cannot lease the whole place because uh, 
we need uh, uh, such a place to be served mm -hmm. all for uh, his, his historical things. Mm -hmm. Those who brought the ideas, they are not, not existing, mm -hmm. but there are, there are some family of uh, funny people. Uh, these people, uh, Patel and Chan, uh -huh. and there are some European also over there. Yes. Yeah. So this was a purely white concept that was executed in a very good place here. Yes. This is a film. These are films. It's, it is dusty. Uh -huh. Don't worry, don't worry, boy. You see? That's how big it was. So, this is not big, this is not the whole film. This is not the whole film? Not the, not the whole film. You see these ones here? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. That is the short film. Seven. For this one, seven goes mm -hmm. for two hours and a half. But this one, big nine, this one goes three hours. And they look like this one. We seven had, of these yeah, is yeah a, seven is, of these is, is a, a one. Film. Yeah, short. seven of them yes. is a whole film. How long is this for? This roll, uh, if you put it in a machine, this roll, mm -hmm. like this one, go, this one will go for 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes. Wow. And there are some which are big, which goes for almost 45 minutes too. 45 minutes? Yeah. Want to see where the film starts? This, why is this a leader? This is a leader of the film, you see? Where the, there's a title name. Uh -huh. yeah? You see? The, we were advertising whatever we are going to show through uh, uh, newspapers and even in the radio we could advertise and tell people we are showing this this kind of movie yeah people will uh, hear and they come now that was fascinating by all standards but early on we had a conversation with Timothy Wase the chief executive office of Kenya Film Commission who hints that these drive-in cinemas might be back it's good that you brought up the issue of drive-in cinemas yes I think that's a business opportunity today and I'm challenging businessmen out there mm -hmm. that this is an area that has not been taken up. Mm -hmm. It has a huge potential. Mm -hmm. The commission a few months ago started this program mm -hmm. and uh, the uptake of the same has, has been very high. Mm -hmm. We believe now it's time for the private sector to get involved, mm -hmm. pump in money, mm -hmm. uh, take it as a business and roll out this in counties. Mm -hmm. I believe this is a huge opportunity. Now, talking about the comeback of drive-in cinemas in the country, last year, September, a movie by the name Oradi aired here in Galeria Shopping Mall. And this is what the prod are had to say. What were your expectations when you put that movie on air? Well, uh, it was quite a lot. Um, mixed feelings. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. Because remember, it was in the height of COVID-19, pandemic. And uh, that's why we decided, first of all, to go there. But... Um, Either way, because we knew uh, we had done a, a, well, we had a good film, so we thought guys were going to turn up owing to the fact that they had stayed home for a very long time. W what was the reality on the ground? Uh, uh, not quite as much as I expected. Uh, well, because of all the reasons. Uh, you can imagine it being a drive-in cinema. Most of the time, some people didn't even understand what we meant by drive-in. So some guys would say, ah, you know, but, uh, you know, I don't have a car. But we're telling them you can carpool, you know, you can all come get inside one car. And then, of course, the expenses. When you look at a car, it was, it was going for like 3000 per car. And somebody would think, oh, 3000 is quite, it's quite high. Well, looking at the old cinema and everything that happened that day, do you think Kenya is ready for driving cinemas? I think, yeah, Kenyans are ready. They just need to be, um, uh, to get used to it. That's all they need. And uh, a lot of awareness. We need to have a lot of films screening that way. We need a lot of producers to also think of that direction, as opposed to the uh, usual uh, cinemas and all these other platforms. So we will need uh, corporates to come through, yeah, and mostly government here. Yeah. Well, that marks the end of Drive-In Nostalgia. My name is Brian Munda.